What's going on everybody? It's your boy Chris Eck and Mr. 540, 540 TV in the building. And I'm here with the 2015 Polaris Slingshot. Today we will be doing the oil change. I do have the 530 fully synthetic oil that it does take. I have the original OEM oil filter from Polaris. All right, so that's pretty much what we need. And also a 15 millimeter socket um, for the drain plug. So I have the Polaris currently jacked up with also the emergency jack. I'm gonna show you exactly where I jacked it up. All right, so it's like right there on the frame. And I have the emergency jack, jack stand right there. The safest way to do it, always use a jack stand. Don't just rely on your regular jack. All right, so the first thing we're gonna do is I've seen a lot of people changing the oils on their Polaris slingshot. Um, you know, you always wanna make sure that you let it cool down so that the hot oil doesn't burn you or the engine doesn't burn you if you just so happen to touch something. So what we're gonna do first is, um, and also too, look here, here's our filter right on top. So we're gonna first open this up. All right, we're gonna take this, put it in our seat so we don't lose that. All right, our next thing is we'll go to the bottom and I'll show you exactly where the drain plug is. I can see it from here actually. That's the drain plug right above that hose or that um, arm right there. Let's get down to the bottom here. That's our drain plug right there. And that is a 15 millimeter. So Changing oil on the Polaris is just like changing oil on any other vehicle because this is pretty much a car. A four cylinder, a 2.4 liter, four cylinder car, pretty much, all right? So um, I'm gonna go ahead and get my ratchet so we can go ahead and loosen that up and I will be right back. All right, so we already have our ratchet already on and I did loosen it up some. Of course, you know, lefty loosey, righty tighty. So I got it loosened up. And watch yourself because the oil will come out pretty quick. All right, here it is. Get to our oil filter, which is right here. I did loosen it up, and what I used was a one and one fourth with a ratchet um, to loosen it up. You can use an oil filter um, um, socket, which is fine, um, but you know, I didn't have one, so just use what I got. All right, so it is loosened, but I can loosen it by hand. And I do have a rag here to try to catch the majority of this oil. Make sure that whatever rag you're using, um, that is not gonna throw debris inside that uh, area. So the majority of the oil should be already drained out pretty much. All right, cool. All right, so we're gonna clean it up on the top. Here's the oil filter here. All right, our next step, we're gonna grab the new oil filter, attach it onto here, and then we'll be ready to put it back We have in. our new Polaris Slingshot oil filter here, and it does come with everything already attached. So what we're gonna do, we're gonna grab some of that oil that's on the top there and kind of lubricate uh, 
this gasket here and also that gasket there. So let's do that now. So we don't need a lot. Let's kind of lubricate that area. Okay, we're gonna add a little more. Filter kind of fell a little bit, so let's just grab a little more. All right, that should be good to go. So we're gonna put it back in there the way we took it out. Righty tighty. All right, so I'm gonna grab my uh, one and one fourth and I'm gonna tighten it up. And then we'll be going to the bottom to put the plug back in. Then we're gonna throw some oil in it. All right, we are down here at the bottom of the slingshot. We're gonna go ahead and put our drain plug back in. So we're gonna hand tighten it and we are gonna get our ratchet. Let's see if I can grab that. Hard to do this with one hand. So do the best I can. All right, got it tight. That's good enough right there. All right, so we're gonna take it off the jet stand. And put some oil in it, and we'll be right back. All right, so our next step is actually getting our funnel, putting it right in there where the oil goes, fill it up. Um, this motor actually takes four and a half quarts. Your normal jug is going to be five quarts, so you shouldn't have to use the entire jug. But if you do, you know you'll check your dipstick, which is right here by your oil filter. You know, after we put oil in, check for leaks, um, let the slingshot run a little bit, uh, check your dipstick just to make sure that it is full. If it's not full, add a little more oil. If there's any leaks, make sure that you tighten those bolts up and wipe them down. Just make sure it's clean. There's no oil, no residue of oil, all right? So I'm gonna go ahead and do that. And I'm gonna let the car, the slingshot actually runs for about, maybe about 30, 30 seconds and we should be good to go. Again, look, thank y'all for viewing my video. You know, if you haven't, make sure you like, subscribe. So this is my new toy on my channel. So we have a lot of customizations coming really soon. So again, hope y'all like the video. Make sure you leave a comment down below that. Let me know that it really helped you, all right? So I will talk to y'all later, peace.